name is Dara Odoma and on today's episode on the Cradle TV show, we are beaming a spotlight on three important events. First, on the 12th day of August, a Data Manor Foundation hosted the Youth of Oro Nation on the International Youth Day. And secondly, on the 15th day of August 2020, a Data Manor launched the Oro Book Club. And thirdly, on this event, during this global pandemic, out of his magnanimity, he actually called the students and pupils and taught them, made sure they are well trained. At the end of the day, he gave prizes and awarded the best uh, student. So what are you waiting for? I don't want you to go anywhere. Stay glued to your TV set and enjoy the rest of the Cradle TV show on this beautiful documentary. My name still remains Dara Udoma, your host. August 12th was designated as International Youth Day by the UN General Assembly in 1999. It is an annual celebration of the role of young women and men as essential partners in promoting human rights and development. It is also an opportunity to raise awareness of the challenges and hardships facing the world's youths. To commiserate the day and contribute to the development of youth, Different organizations have done their best. Prominent among the organizations is the frontline non-governmental organization in Nigeria, Aided Amana Foundation. Addressing the participant at Aided Amana Foundation Secretariat in Oran local government area in Okwaibom State on Wednesday 12th August 2020, the foundation manager Mr. Cyril B. urges the youth to always speak out on the challenges of their community for necessary action. Talk to your brothers and sisters who are away. Tell them to support Oron. Support Oron within the South City. We are opening a tech hub here too, so we can collaborate. The tech hub will be coming up here. We can collaborate. And then our skills and position center will also be set up here. He said, this year's International Youth Day seeks to put the spotlight on youth engagement through the following three interconnected streams, engagement at the local, community level, engagement at the national level, formulation of laws, policies and their implementation and engagement at the global level. On International Youth Day, we want to hear young people's voices. What is, what is wrong with that? Eh, out of the uh, 400,000 they are recruiting, if 50 persons, 100 guests from Morocco, what is wrong? Let, let us start sharing, collaborating, collaboration. You can't go far without collaborating. You cannot, if you say all for myself, you grab all, you lose all. Calling on the keynote speaker of the theme of the event, Bihi assures the participants of an impactful moment with a renowned professor. Professor Inyang Etung, who is expected to do justice on the theme of the day, Youth Livelihood, what is it all about? Basic needs, basic needs, 
presented a paper on the need to prepare for actions through effective engagement. When I say we, you say what? We. We. Wow. We. Wow. was interactive as the youth participants gave their submissions on the way forward. For eight copies of passport in one, it's 1,500 men. What we're doing here, eight copies, 500. They're collecting 1,500 in the working age where they are receiving money. You, you pay transport within, within or only this is a small town, I mean our main town. to an end with a summary of a communique presentation on the resolutions reached. For global action, celebrated year in oral by Edelman Foundation with the full calls on oral youth livelihood, fresh realities for community action, held this day being 12 August 2020. In attendance were two board members of Edelman Foundation Representative from the social political space, youth leaders, students, business, religious, and also a representative from the tech space. Presentations were made. Consequential discussions, deliberations, and dialogue were carried out concerning the oral youth livelihood. Also, a particular focus on women and girls in perspective. A committee will be selected to represent the signatures to the end. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, Mr. 
Okay, so um, this is commendable. We appreciate you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, is it carried? It's carried. Is it carried? Yeah. Yes. Are there points that are missing out? No. No, no points. Okay. So, um, please call. Uh, we would like you to attest to this. I'm only attest to it. And then, uh, another person will attest to it. Yes. Then let me attest to it. Then we, will, we will do the, the authentic copy. And then, with this, of course, we will pick up the signature again and then make sure it's a signature for everyone. Um, adopted by. I think the signature just mean the names of the people. That's fine. They are present. Okay. So, prop is here. So why this is going on? Um, could uh, Mr. Sim tell us about the opportunities in uh, UBA, right? Okay, thank you. The facilitators and participants at the event who spoke to the crew of the Cradle TV show expressed satisfaction on the outcome of the event. Okay, um... We have just finished the International Youth Day celebration here in the Demana um, Foundation uh, office here in Lorraine. Uh, it's, it's something that uh, we have to appreciate. Our focus was uh, on youth livelihood, or um, youth livelihood, um, fresh realities for community action or the theme for, for the program. Um, you, you can attest to the number of uh, young people that attended the program. It was really, really, you know, commendable um, for young people to come speak you know, um, in their minds, speak up their minds, telling us what they really see as a challenge in their own, and then they also get debated on the solutions. We have actually, uh, you know, drawn the community from, from the event, which we work with as a foundation, and then we also share it to our stakeholders to support, you know, um, the, 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 the statements made by these young people. So I want to thank everybody who turned up, uh, people from the banking sector, people from the secondary school, people from the um, uh, community youth organizations and church youth, uh, youth uh, organizations. I appreciate them. And then uh, the professor that came, Professor Young uh, and then uh, Mrs. IVS, who also turned up for the program. Um, it was quite you know, revealing the situation uh, analysis, uh, the situation analysis. So that was fine. Yes, uh, actually as a uh it was celebrated here today. I think uh, there is great hope for the youth of our own nation in particular and the youth of Nigeria. A lot of innovations were brought in in the planning and the entire celebration. Well, the message to, uh, to the youth who are not here, I feel so pained because uh, they have lost a lot. I, as an adult, I have really gain from interaction in my interactions with the youth here. And I would demand that the youth should be more focused. They should be more visionary in their approach to life. And they should actually be open you know, to knowledge, to interactions, and to networking, because that is what drives the world. Okay, thank you very much. I'm particularly very excited to be here and very grateful to the Edit Amuna Foundation for carrying out something so interesting as this, you know, um, getting involved in it. I think definitely the youths have participated and they have been encouraged by the words that were spoken today. And um, they will carry this on. Information is the most important thing tool right now in the 21st century and information has been passed and digested 
and I know that we will take this with us as we move into our various environments, we we'll try to um, take on this um, knowledge, this information, tell our friends, people, you know. Uh, so many problems were brought up and solutions were preferred. And uh, I'm, so, I'm so sure that in the little ways that we can as people, we will take some of these solutions and we'll try to see how we can imbibe them in our own environment as people, as individuals. And of course, the change will definitely spring forth from there. Of course, I am well satisfied with the event today. I mean, it was wonderful. I'm looking at all the deliberations and the resolutions made here today. It is not just satisfying, but it's a call to awaken a movement to help the youth create more uh, successful future for them and see how they can also help the society at large. is a bedrock of any society. It is the desire of Sir Aided Amana Foundation. Through this foundation, Aided Amana Foundation is to change the dynamics of Oron Nation with the recent introduction of Oron Book Club that was launched on Saturday 15th August 2020 at the Foundation Secretariat in the Yetong Road, Oron Local Government Area. Setting the tone of the event, the Foundation Manager, Mr. Cyril Abir, while welcoming the participants, said, Book is an important aspect that gives directions to the way we operate in our society and the confidence. This is the uh, official launch of Oron Book Club, powered by Edelamana Foundation. Today is one of the best days in Oron and Oron Nation. The Edelamana Foundation believes in education and we how to support education. And today we are starting with this book. Surgeon of Problems by Sir Dr. Edith Emana. The event, which witnessed the reading presentation of the book titled Sojourn of Providence, Sir Edith Emana at 80, was presented in different pages by the participants as the author. The book tells us how a little boy with nobody and with nothing to grow up to be one of the best in Nigeria. It's an inspiration for you and me to tap into. Please unwrap the book. Unwrap the book. In that war, the vast majority of the world's countries set themselves into two opposing military alliances, the Allies and the Axis, and involved over 100 people from over 30 countries. World War II recorded some millions of fatalities, mainly civilians, that, in, that included massacres, genocides, and the worst demonstration of the inhumanity of men to men. The war in Europe ended with Germany's unconditional surrender on May 8, 1940. Five. Following the refusal of Japan to surrender, atomic bombs were dropped in the Japanese cities of Hiroshima and Nagasaki on 6th and 9th August 1945, respectively. As I have always said, it's preferable, it's better to realize oneself first so that one could be able to know the area or the apartment he or she would function. So, going through this judiciously, I have realized that 
the chief knew that he would end up as an engineer. And all the factors aligned to him realizing his vision. That's my take on it. Because a man of course knows where he's going to. He was focused. And that's why amidst the challenges, he was directional. That's my take on it. Six of Western education through the establishment of Nigeria Primary School. It also became an administrative center with an office, a native court, a dispensary, and a local prison. We are established at Ophir A or Quant compound. Olivia tried as a center of enlightenment and was the training ground for most of the early Oran allies, including the former Inspector General of Police, Sir Edmund Ogunia. Sir Anana responded to questions from Lagos via virtual platform. My name is Michael William, I'm from Mugwe from Oluko, local government. I am a medical student studying in Niger Delta University. So my question is, sir, um, about the point you navigated your life, because from the history, you, you studied almost um, your entire degrees outside the country. How was it for you? at the event were thrilled with a brief musical interlude for Dama Jr. and Didi after which a discussion session on the book read set in. <laughs> Foundation manager while fielding in questions from the Cradle TV show crew at the end of the event expressed satisfaction on the satisfactory hosting of the event. So, so of Providence, rather by Eden um, Amana, and uh, we ran through the book, we did the, the, the review. We are joined from Lagos by the author of the book, Sir Dr. Eden James Amana, who explained some of the chapters and the, the, the topics in the book. 
he declared that the club, which is focused on four key areas, the library, culture, life skill acquisition, leadership training segment, and a virtual platform for reading, was established to reawakening the reading culture of our own people and the literacy level. Um, today was the launch of um, Leadup Oron Book Club. The book club has been set up for young people in Oron to socialize, learn, and then enjoy themselves to reading and to promote the cultural, um, I mean, reading culture of Oron as a um, nation. To God be the glory, because it was a day like never before. As the impact of COVID-19 ravages across the world, Private foundations have so far contributed immensely on measures to contain the spread of the virus through awareness campaigns and fundings to meet the immediate needs of individuals, students, and the vulnerable populations impacted by the virus. Prominent among the foundations at the forefront of these battles is the Edit Amana Foundation. The foundation, among series of programs embarked upon since the emergence of the pandemic, rounded up her student support tutorial program last week with a prize to the best performing students. The event, which took place at the prestigious Methodist Boys High School, Oron, witnessed a turn up of participating students across schools in the state. Addressing the participants at the event, which was organized in strict compliance with the COVID-19 guidelines, the foundation manager, Mr. Cyril Beer, said the EDAF 2020 student support program was organized to assist people and students, most especially those in the exams class during the stay-at-home order occasioned by the coronavirus. In their words of appreciation, the participating students during an interactive session thanked the founder of the foundation, Sir Edith Amana, on his kind gesture and asked for the extension of the program. Actually, I'm glad to see that the foundation has done very well, most especially in the sight of the students, that we are not allowed to give vocabulary of the students to the way like that. And because of the foundation, that is what we have the foundation has done a lot because back then at school, the foundation organized a double orientation program for both students and graduates. The program helped a lot because many of them were with their laptops and they showed them to tips and how to have their own access to the internet. Because many people at that day are unable to know the main usefulness of the internet. They use the internet to read some other things only just to browse, but they don't know the main benefit of the internet. But when the Google orientation program was organized by the Edison Foundation, many of them are now benefiting now, even the graduates, because some of them now have to the High point of the event included the presentation of prizes to the best students as they all smiled home with different prizes. Welcome back. I'm sure you had a swell time watching the Cradle TV show on NTA Channel 12. I want to urge you to keep following our programs. The Cradle TV show comes your way every Thursday by 3.30 to 4 p.m. before the national news. And of course, I want you to stay healthy and stay safe. Wash your hands regularly with soap and running water using alcohol-based hand sanitizer. And don't forget to cover your mouth while sneezing. My name is Dara Udoma, your regular host. Until I come your way same time next week for now, 
Bye.